In this video, I will talk about phase of an alternating quantity. In the analysis of alternating quantities, it is always necessary to know the instantaneous value and the direction of the alternating quantity at any instant. To determine the instantaneous value and the direction of the alternating quantity, we define the term phase of an alternating quantity. See the word phase describes a specific location. So our phase will indicate a specific location within a cycle of an alternating quantity with respect to a fixed reference. So our phase will indicate a specific location with respect to a fixed reference within a cycle. Now how do we locate this specific location? See the phase of an alternating quantity is the angle traveled by that alternating quantity at any instant from a zero position of reference. That means we have to measure an angle with respect to a fixed reference point that is traveled by that alternating quantity. So in short form I can say that the phase of an alternating quantity describes a specific location in terms of an angle traveled by that alternating quantity at any instant from a zero position of reference or with respect to a fixed reference. See, it indicates how the quantity has advanced from the zero position of reference. That means it indicates how much the angle the alternating quantity has traveled from the zero position of reference. As we have to determine the phase in terms of angle, therefore the phase will have a will have an unit of either radian or degree. Now let's say I have this alternating quantity. Let's say I locate the points A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on in this alternating waveform. Here you will see this alternating waveform will represent two complete cycles. This will be our first cycle and this will indicate our second cycle. Now let's say this is our fixed reference point. Now with respect to this fixed reference the point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q they will not indicate the same location of the waveform. That means I can say that all the points indicates different locations in the waveform. So they will indicate different phase of the waveform. Now see as this is our first half cycle the phase of the A will be different from B, B will be different from C, C will be different from D, D will be different from E, E will be different from F, F will be different from G and G will be different from H, H will be different from I because with respect to this reference axis you will see the angle or the distance traveled by the point B will not be same with the distance traveled by the point C. So I can say that all of them are indicating a different phase of this alternating quantity. Now if I consider the two complete cycles you will see the point A will be in phase with this I. Because you will see at this A point our alternating quantity is positive going at this I point our alternating quantity is also positive going. See this B and this K will be in phase this C and this L will be in phase because they will indicate the maximum value positive maximum value of the alternating quantity D M E N will be same phase because and you will see this A and this E will not in phase because here you will see the distance traveled by this E from this reference point will not be same with the distance traveled by this A. But this E and this N will indicate the same phase of two 
different cycles because after this e you will see our alternating quantity will be in negative going and our alter this alternating quantity is also negative going now see this g and this o will be in phase because th they will indicate negative maximum this h this p will be in phase i and q will be in phase now let me show you how to calculate the phase of an alternating quantity and from determining the phase how do we calculate the instantaneous value and the direction of the alternating current let's say i have this alternating voltage here we express the alternating voltage by using this formula vi equal to vm sin omega t plus phi naught this vm indicates the maximum value of the waveform the omega indicates the angular frequency t indicates instantaneous time and phi naught indicates initial phase of the waveform and the initial phase of the waveform will always be constant with respect to time now see this omega t omega t indicates instantaneous phase so how do we determine the phase angle or phase of this alternating waveform see you will see the phase angle or the phase of this alternating waveform will be equal to omega t plus phi naught this omega t will indicate the instantaneous phase and this phi naught will indicate the initial phase now let's say i have total three points on this alternating voltage let's say this is our a this is b point and this is c point let's say this a point is at the time instant t1 this b point is at the time instant t2 and the c point is at the time instant t3 okay now see how do we calculate the phase of this alternating waveform at the time instant t1 at the time instant t1 the phase at the time instant t1 will be the angle traveled by the alternating waveform up to this t1 and at that instant phase will be omega t1 plus phi naught now what will be the phase at the time instant t phase will be the distance or angular distance traveled by the alternating waveform up to this time t therefore at that instant our phase will be omega t2 plus phi naught now what will be the phase at time instant t here you will see the phase will be the angular distance traveled by this alternating waveform up to this time t here the angular distance will be or angle traveled by the alternating waveform from this reference axis will be equal to omega t3 plus phi naught now let's say i am showing you an alternating voltage here in the multi sim simulator here you will see the peak value of this alternating voltage vm will be equal to 10 volt here the frequency f will be equal to 50 hertz once we know the frequency we can calculate the angular frequency omega equal to twice pi f which will be 100 phi radian per second and here you will see the initial phase of this alternating waveform will be phi naught which will be equal to zero so i can write the equation of v1 equal to 10 sin 100 phi t plus zero or 10 sin 100 phi 
t. Now, how do we calculate the phase of this alternating voltage at any instant? See, phase of this alternating voltage at any instant will be equal to omega t plus phi naught. Here, omega t is equal to 100 phi. So, here you will see the phase will be equal to 100 phi t plus 0. Now let's say I am considering the time in instant. Let's set this point. Here you will see the time in instant will be 3.008 millisecond. The time is at 3.008 millisecond. Now what will be the phase or the angular distance traveled by this alternating waveform up to this time instant? You will see the phase will be equal to omega t plus 0 degree here omega t is 100 phi and see I am considering that this time so this time will be 3.008 millisecond into that means 3.008 into 10 to the power minus 3 which will be equal to 54.14 degree that that means the angle traveled by this alternating waveform up to this 3.008 millisecond will be 54 point one four degree now let's say I want to calculate the phase at this time instant okay here you will see the time will be at seven point three five five millisecond now the phase will be the angular distance or the angle traveled by this alternating quantity up to this three point seven seven three point seven point three three five millisecond here you will see our phase will be equal to 100 phi into 7.335 millisecond that means 7.355 into 10 to the power minus 3 which will be equal to 132.39 degree that means the angle traveled by this alternating quantity up to this time will be equal to 132.39 degrees so this will be its phase now see when the phase is equal to 132.39 degree you will see the instantaneous value of the alternating waveform will be 7.387 volt and this will be positive so the alternating quantity will go through positive half cycle now let's say i am considering the time instant at this point here you will see the time instant will be equal to 13.326 millisecond so the phase of this alternating waveform up to this point will be the angular distance covered or the traveled by this alternating waveform up to this point here you will see our phase will be equal to phi phase will be equal to 100 phi into 13.326 into 10 to the power minus 3 this will be equal to 239.68 degree so the angle traveled by this alternating quantity up to this point will be equal to 239.68 degree see if I place this at this point here you will see the T will be equal to 20 millisecond and the angular distance covered by this alternating waveform or the phase will be equal to 100 phi into 20 millisecond that means 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 which will be equal to 360 degree and the instantaneous value at this instant will be nearly zero okay this is how we calculate the phase of any alternating quantity at any instant now let me show you this alternating voltage let's say in the x-axis I am considering the omega t and in the y-axis I am considering the voltage v this is our reference axis you will see the alternating quantity will not start traveling from this zero position of reference let's say its traveling point is phi 1 degree away from the reference axis therefore the angle traveled by this alternating quantity at any instant will be phi 1 angle less than the instantaneous phase of this alternating waveform therefore we express the equation of this alternating quantity by using this formula v equal to 
भी एम साइन ओमेगा टी माइनस फाइ हेयर दिस ओमेगा टी माइनस फाइ वन नाउ लेट मी कन्सिडार दिस वाई फॉर्म इन द एक्स एक्सिस आई एम कन्सिडारिंग दिस ओमेगा टी एंड इन द वाई एक्सिस आई एम कन्सिडारिंग दिस भि दिस उल बी आवार रेफारेन्स वोल्टेज लेट से दिस इज आवार जिरो पॉइंट यू उल सी द अल्टरनेटिंग क्वान्टिटी उल स्टार्ट इट्स जार्नी फ्रम लेट से फाइ नट डिग्री एहेड फ्रम दिस जिरो पोजिशन देयर फोर द एंगल ट्रावल्ड बै द अल्टरनेटिंग क्वान्टिटी एट एन इन्स्टेंट उल बी कल टू ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइ वन एज इट स्टार्ट इट्स जार्नी फ्रम ए पोजिशन इन फ्रंट अफ दिस जिरो पॉइंट देयर फोर उ कैन रईट द वे फर्म अफ दिस अल्टरनेटिंग क्वान्टिटी बै यूजिंग दिस फर्मुला भि इक्ल टू भि एम सैन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइ वन ओके इफ द इन्स्टेंटेनियस फेज इज पजिटिव दैट मीस उ हेव टू ब्रिंग द ओरिजिन अफ द वे फर्म एहेड अफ दिस जिरो पजिशन एंड इफ द इनिशियल एंगल इज नेगेटिव we have to bring the origin at a later point from this zero or reference axis okay that's it thank you